Have you ever noticed how the stream of thoughts passing through your mind is often quite negative? For example, we might be chatting away to a friend, but our thoughts are distracting us with a commentary about how badly we're coming across. Often these negative thoughts are not particularly helpful or accurate, but they are so common. Just like Alex and Joe, most of us have minds that tell us loads of critical and negative stuff, such as, I don't fit in, or I'm going to fail. And you may even notice negative thoughts about these thoughts, such as, why can't I stop worrying? Or, what's wrong with me? Why do our minds do this? It seems a bit strange. Believe it or not, our minds have developed this way to help us survive. Back in cave dweller times, it was really hard to survive. Our minds needed to constantly alert us to potential danger. Cave dwellers, like Worst Case Wally, had minds that saw threat in every situation, so they were always prepared to leap into action and run away or fight. This made them more likely to survive, so they were able to have children and pass on their genes. Meanwhile, cave dwellers like Laidback Larry had chilled out minds. They were way less prepared for danger, so they were more likely to get killed. They were less likely to have children and their laid-back genes were less likely to get passed on. Another thing that was important to survival in the past was being part of the tribe. Cave dwellers who roamed around on their own were more vulnerable and they were way more likely to get eaten or attacked. People who stuck to the group were safer. They could watch out for each other and protect each other. This is why, as well as the thoughts about threat or things that might go wrong, our minds have a tendency to churn out worrying thoughts about whether or not we fit in or belong. So next time someone says to you, don't be so negative, you can tell them, it's normal and it's helped us humans to survive. We can't stop our minds from churning out negative thoughts, but we can learn some really helpful ways to reduce the impact they have. The first step is simply getting good at noticing when our mind is in that cave dweller mode, telling us that something bad might happen or that we don't fit in. Once we get good at noticing our thoughts, we don't have to be so bossed around by them. That way, we can get on with doing the things that are important to us more of the time.